What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I got a bunch of cool products to review for you today. There will be timestamps in the description if you want to skip around. There's also a link to each product in the description. So I was contacted by this company a couple weeks ago and I started this video a couple weeks ago. During that time, there was one product that they were actually revising and they wanted me to wait for the revised product because they, they didn't think it was kind of up to their standards, which was fine with me. During that time, we actually had our baby. So <laughs> you'll see you know, in the next part of the video, Stephanie's here and she's pregnant but that's not the case anymore. When I was contacted to review these products, I told them I'm gonna let everyone watching know that they were sent to me for free, so I did not pay for any of these products. And I'm gonna tell the truth. If something is weird or off or I don't like it, I'm just gonna tell everybody. If you're not okay with that, then, then don't send me the products. And they said, no, please be honest. If there's something you don't like, maybe talk to us, see if we can fix it for you. So you'll notice the videos cut a little weird. Um, the first part is, you know, when I first got the products and Stephanie and I recorded some. And then the second part is today. I'm recording the other two products that I received later. Well, enjoy the video. If you have any questions about anything you see, just leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer whatever questions you have. What's going on guys? Chris here. And I brought Stephanie along for this one. Um, we're going to be looking at some accessories and Stephanie loves accessories, so I thought she would enjoy this. But hopefully these are really high quality products um, and I'll be able to recommend them, so let's check them out. <laughs> I oh. Didn't. Oh, first flaw. No. The... <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna look at is a little organizer. So you have the storage in the armrest down here, and then there's like the pit up here, a lot of people call it, it's just a huge hole under the screen. And this actually fits right in there. So we're gonna put it in there and see how it looks. But before that, uh, let's just check it out. So it's a pretty thin plastic, uh, nothing wrong with that. And it has little rubber mats in here. Uh, can you take one of those out? And I did notice uh, when I was checking this out earlier, um, <laughs> um, the attention to detail. So if you look here, you can see in on the top, these are, um, these are pointy corners and here are rounded. <laughs> what would this be? What would that be? <laughs> I know. What do I... So up here you can see there are two sharp corners and on the bottom two rounded corners. And those fit in here like exactly perfectly. Um, and it's really sticky on the bottom. So this stays in there really well. So let's see how it fits uh, in, in the pit. Is this for coins? Mm -hmm. For coins. It's because men don't put coins anywhere else. Right? Like, yeah. women have a purse. Like, uh -huh. I'm not going to... Okay, so here's the pit. Um, I use this for like all my recording stuff. Um, and I usually keep my camera and some other stuff in here. Um, but I took those out and we're going to just put this in. And it fits perfectly. Uh, I'm pretty sure this side's supposed to go here because if you push this in here a bit, you can still open this. So that's cool. You can close that. Everything still works. And then I took out some of the things that I usually keep in there. And so you could put sunglasses here. I could put my camera here and you could put a couple coins there and that's actually really nice. I'm definitely going to use this. All right. Uh, I got a few coins here so we can just see how that works. Yeah, not actually that great, but that's how I'd do it. That's fine. It, it works. There's coins there and then you can still close it and it works perfectly. Awesome. I like this one. I'm going to be using it. Okay. Next up. Like sticking up from it. All right, next up we have some pedal covers. So these are to replace the pedals. This is my job. Okay. <laughs> so these are to replace the pedals if you don't have the performance version of these. <laughs> Keep still so they can look at them. Um, if you don't have the performance version. So if you buy the performance model three, it'll come with pedals that already look like these. Um, but I have the all wheel drive non-performance. So I have the boring pedals. So let's take these out and check out the quality and then I'll install them can't have boring pedals. Everybody sees them all the time. So it's what do you think? Just, it's just a cover, right? No, I think these replace your actual pedals. Seriously? I thought they were metal. They look, I don't know, they're kind of cold though. Like, no? Mm. I mean, it could be really thin right. metal, but I think it's... <laughs> what does that do? It, so it sounds like metal. Could be. Okay. It could just be really right. thin metal. My bad. I think these are metal. They're definitely metal. It's they, okay. They feel a little plasticky, but I'm pretty sure they're metal. I will email the company and double check 
and uh, I will put just some words on the screen to tell you that, that they are metal. But that's how they feel, honestly. So just so you know, that was my kind of first impression. So let's replace the stock pedals. So we're gonna take these pedals off, which I don't even know how to do. So yeah, it's just a rubber cover and it just peels off the back. Okay, so you can see here, I just had to peel these sides off. That's how I got that off. So here's the pedals. You can see the new ones are, seem a little thinner. Um, the, this is a little heavier, but it's fully rubber. I mean, I can just bend that right in half. And then this one's really solid. So actually now comparing these, it gives me, I, I actually like it better. And it just looks kind of nice. So let's put these on. Okay, so it fits on there pretty good. Um, they gave you these little pull tabs so you can pull on it. And rather than when I was struggling to kind of get my grip around this piece, I can use these tabs to pull and get the edges around the pedal. So there you can compare the look of the new uh, brake pedal to the old uh, Go pedal and kind of compare them. Obviously this is nice and clean and new, uh, but it does look a lot better. What do you think? Yeah, it looks nice. Cool. Oh, okay, so this pedal actually doesn't even have a cover. That's interesting. So this is just a flat piece. So this just goes right on over the old cover. So here's the back. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide on the right side and then use the pull tab over here to pull it over the left side. And that one was a lot easier, I think, because I actually knew what I was doing. So here's the finished product. They're on there nice and tight. Uh, this one took me a little bit, but I didn't exactly know what I was doing. This one went right on, no problem. And here's the old brake pedal, just for comparison. And they do look really nice. I really like the look. And the price is really good too. So here's the one I'm most excited for. You get two boxes. This is the Aero Cap cover kit. So if you want to take your Aero Caps off and you want to make the wheels look a lot nicer on the 18s, uh, you get one to put center caps on and then one to cover the lug nuts. And it's pretty cool because you get a different logo. So let's look at these. Box number one. A lot of foam. Okay, very cool. So these are the center cap kits. This symbol can either represent an M or a three. Uh, and the company describes that as if you want to think of it as model three. Uh, I personally like to just think that they look like threes. And it's really cool because most people have the Tesla cap kit and they have the T in the center, which does look nice, but it's kind of like what everybody has. So this one's like a little more unique. They do feel really nice. So these feel a little heavier. Oh yeah, really nice. And then they give you the little tools to remove uh, these covers and the center uh, caps. So it's nice because I don't think Tesla even includes the removal tool. I think people have been buying suction cups and stuff to pull those center caps off. All right, so let's put these on. So if you've never seen this, you just pull this off. Pretty simple. And then we'll take a center cap. Fits perfectly. That's good. All right, and that is awesome. It looks really good. There's the comparison of the kind of before and after. Okay, so it's a few weeks later. I got a couple more products to look at. First, let's review what I already went over. Here's the cap kit, still staying on, no problem there. Looks awesome, I'm really enjoying this. I was hoping to get it clean on video for you, but I cleaned it up and took uh, some pictures, so I'll post those. And then if we go into the car, so I have not cleaned these pedals since I got them and they're still looking awesome. They look even better in person actually than they do on camera. You know, at first when I got these, I was not that excited about them, but they look so good every time I get in the car. I, I really enjoy those. And then this little organizing tray, oh my gosh, I didn't know I needed this, but I really needed it. You know, like I showed before, the change doesn't stay neatly in there, but it does stay in there. It doesn't rattle around at all as you're driving. And I just love having my sunglasses up here and then my camera, and I have all my junk below there. It's really easy to, you know, take in and out of there. So for the new products, the first thing is a sunshade. Now the sunshade goes in the top of the car. Uh, it goes in the top window, and then it goes in the back as well. And that's gonna help keep your, your car cool. And the nice thing about these is you can just leave them in. 
Now this is the only one that I'm not showing you packaged. I took a picture, I'll show you that, uh, because I wanted to take these out and I wanted to test them a bit. So I use cabin overheat protection and I have it set so only the fan runs. I don't use the AC on the cabin overheat protection. And I noticed that on some days it still was going over 105. So cabin overheat tries to keep you below 105 uh, Fahrenheit if it can. But with the fan only, it's not you know all that powerful. But using these, I notice I'm more often staying at or below 105 than before I got them. So both sunshades did come in this bag, uh, which is really nice. You can fold them back up and put them in here, and this can easily fit in the trunk if you wanna store them in there, or of course the trunk. Um, the only thing I didn't like is they didn't come with any directions. Now it's pretty self-explanatory, like one is the size for this panel and one's the size for the rear panel, um, but they come with these little clips, and it took me, you know, a minute of kind of fiddling to figure out how to fit it in there. But, you know, once I did, not a big deal. So there's not really a front or back that's labeled on either of the pieces, but I just take it, and what I find easiest is I put one of these clips on each side, and you can just put it on like that, and it stays pretty decently. So, one clip per side. And then I just put these two clips, one on each side, just to get started. You can see it goes in really easily just like that and then it stays in place and from there you can just kind of manipulate it it's very flexible to get it fitting up in this top window there is a front and a back so the the front of the window isn't the same size as the back um, so if it's not fitting quite right just flip it over and if it's fine so that's it it just takes a second so let's jump in the back and install the back one i found the rear one much easier to install than the front one I'm not even sure that you really need these clips i did put a couple of them in anyway just to make sure that it doesn't shift or fall during a like bumpy driving so for this one you just shove it in the back And that's it, it's in, it just takes a second. And then just to be safe, I mean, you probably should, you know, put a clip maybe up front here, clip this on, and then you can put that in the trim. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, but this piece is hanging just a little bit. So I'll take another clip and I'll clip that in. So now that's that's hanging in the trim as well. So now we have both of these sunshades in helping the car stay cool in the sun. All right, so our last item is gonna be a set of floor mats and a trunk mat. I left them wrapped up so you could see how they come. Just like this, fold it up. Okay, so so far they feel really heavy duty. They're pretty thick, they're really heavy. You do need scissors here to cut this. All right, I'm stupid. You're supposed to cut this whole piece of plastic off, but I'll do that later. It fits really nicely, especially with the nice pedals. There is a tiny little gap here next to the dead pedal, um, but the whole thing does have a nice lip on the side, so no big deal. Let me show you my old floor mats. I can already tell I'm gonna like them more because they're cleaner. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my foot, like my heel, would kind of get caught in these patterns. And so when you'd go to kind of slide your foot to let off the throttle a little bit, my foot would get caught here. I'd have to pick up my whole foot and then it would just change like how hard I was pressing the pedal. It, it probably sounds ridiculous, but in real life it was really annoying. So another really good fit in the back seat I love that it's one piece. Some of the Model 3 floor mats for the back seat are multiple pieces, and I just, I don't like that. So um, on the other side, you can see I cut off this piece. You're supposed to cut that off. It makes it fit much better. Um, there's a tiny crease that will go away with some heat. And overall, it looks awesome. And again, it has the nice raised lip right here. So any liquids or anything will stay trapped in there. And there's the passenger side, a perfect fit. Looks really nice. All right, and final one, I'm pretty excited for this. This is the trunk mat. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but my trunk is nasty because I do a lot of, you know, get stuff from Home Depot or take stuff, you know, here and there, dirt and rocks and all that kind of stuff. And so I'm really excited to get this last piece in here to protect the carpet in the back. You can buy this on its own. You don't have to buy everything if you just want the trunk mat. And if we unroll this, I can already see, hopefully you can let me bring it up to the camera. There's a cutout here for the latch so you can still pull up the bottom compartment in the trunk. Oh, this thing is really heavy. <laughs> it's good. 
So here's the trunk mat. It was rolled, so it's got some wrinkles. Again, these will just come out with a little bit of heat um, from being in the sun, no big deal. But you can see I can still access this latch here. Bam, I still have access to that compartment without having to move this big heavy thing. But it goes all the way to the back. And again, it's rolled up, that'll go away. That happens with any trunk mat you get. And it also protects the sides here. And really quick, they wanted me to share their website with you. So really nice design here. If you want to buy anything, you can just go up to Model 3. Uh, that's all they have for now. Hopefully they'll add some other Tesla vehicles soon. We'll go to Interior Accessories. And here's what they have. Really nice pedals, great price. Uh, let's say we want the floor mats and the trunk mat. So we can click here. We can just add that to our cart. There's lots of pictures here so you can you know, see the product, how it looks. And the pictures are exactly, you know, what I got, so that's good. So we'll add that to the cart. Uh, continue shopping. And I want to add the trunk mat. This thing's awesome. Everybody should have this. So we can also add that to our cart. And here's what we have. Uh, maybe I decide, okay, I don't actually want these. I just want the trunk mat. I could just click remove. Simple as that. And then you can use PayPal to check out, which is really nice. I really like to use PayPal whenever I'm shopping online. If you need any support from them, you can just click contact us and I know they'll get back to you really quick. Uh, they, they respond to emails very quickly. All right, so that's it. I hope you found these products pretty cool. Uh, I enjoyed reviewing them and I like to kind of share these things with you guys. I'm glad they were good quality. Comment below, let me know what your favorite was and I'll uh, see you next time.